Greetings. My name is Vidhan Sharan. My pronouns are he, him, his. I am an international student from India who just finished, finished his first year in Masters in Computer Science, which is in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. My name is Valeria Quintero Jaramillo. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am an international student from Colombia and a first year neuroscience pre-med track student in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the second annual international student graduation celebration. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate our graduating international students, their current achievements and their achievements to come. We want to take a moment to recognize our friends, family members, and campus support networks who are here in person with us today. Vice President of Student Life, Sarah Hansen, Dean of Graduate College, Amanda Thien, Associate Dean of Graduate College, Shelly Campbell, Executive Director for Belonging and Inclusion and Assistance to the Vice President, Maria Bruno, Dean Andy Rims, Assistant Provost International Stoke Lee, as well as all the faculty, staff, and campus partners who are present. Affinity celebrations like this won't celebrate perseverance and accomplishments in the face of historic and ongoing exclusion and marginalization. Today's event is to recognize and celebrate the collective experience and achievement of participating international students, to celebrate international education, interchange, and to be in the community. So let's start our celebration today by recognizing indigenous people as traditional stewards of this land by watching a video of the University of Iowa Indigenous Land Acknowledgement produced by the University of Iowa's Native American Council. What is a land acknowledgement and why is it important? A land acknowledgement is a formal statement that recognizes and respects indigenous peoples as traditional stewards of this land and the enduring relationship that exists between indigenous peoples and their traditional territories. To recognize the land as an expression of gratitude and appreciation to those whose territory you reside on and a way of honoring the indigenous people who have been living and working on the land from time immemorial. It is important to understand the long-standing history that has brought you to reside on this land and to seek to understand your place within that history. However, a land acknowledgement is only the first step in raising awareness as well as educating yourself in regard to Native nations and should act like the first step in a journey to a better understanding of the Native nations and Indigenous peoples whose land on which you reside. How does one use a land acknowledgement? Land acknowledgements should be used at the beginning of presentations, important gatherings, and other such events of importance. They can also be used in the introductory portion of a course, for example, at the beginning of a semester on the first day of class or in the syllabus. A land acknowledgement can be as simple as declaring at the beginning of a presentation or event that you and your guests are on the ancestral homelands and traditional territory of whichever Native nations had a historical presence in the area or continue to have a presence in the area today. You may go so far as to mention applicable treaties or historical events, and even to explain the purpose and intent behind your acknowledgement of the land. As an example of a land acknowledgement, I will now read the University of Iowa Acknowledgement of Land and Sovereignty. The University of Iowa is located on the homelands of the Ojibwe and the Anishinaabe Bahoji, Iowa, Kickapoo, Kickapoo, Omatmanewak, Menominee, Miamica, Miami, Natuchi, Missouri, Omaha, Omaha, Wazaji, Osage, Jawer, Oto, Odawa, Ottawa, Ponca, Ponca, Potawatomi, Nishnabe, Potawatomi, Meshkwaki, Nemahaki, Sakawaki, Dakota, Lakota, Nakota, Sanish, Nubaga, Nueta, and the Ho-Chunk Nations. The following tribal nations, the Omaha Tribe of Nebraska and Iowa, Ponca Tribe of Nebraska, Sac and Fox Nation of the Mississippi and Iowa, and Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska 
continue to thrive in the state of Iowa, and we continue to acknowledge them. As an academic institution, it is our responsibility to acknowledge the sovereignty and the traditional territories of these tribal nations. And the treaties that were used to remove these tribal nations and the histories of dispossession that have allowed for the growth of this institution since 1847. Consistent with the university's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Understanding the historical and current experiences of Native peoples will help inform the work we do collectively as a university to engage in building relationships through academic scholarship, collaborative partnerships, community service, enrollment and retention efforts, acknowledging our past, our present, and future Native nations. Again, I want to acknowledge and thank the University of Iowa's Native American Council for the leadership and work in our community in creating this land acknowledgement for our institution. Next, let me introduce the graduate and professional speaker, Joanne Constantine. Joanne Constantine, an international student from Beirut, Lebanon, is graduating from the PhD in Health Services and Policy Program with a focal area in health economics. Her research revolves around the intersection of health policies, access to care, health outcomes, and social determinants of health. She specifically focuses on health services and policy research addressing inequities in incident in infant, child, and maternal health. At the University of Iowa, Joanne an international student ambassador, the co-founding chair of the health of Public Health International Student Advisory Board, co-leader of the International and BIPOC Graduate Student Instructors Learning Community, and a member of the Graduate and Professional Student Government International Affairs, as well as diversity, equity, and inclusion uh, communities. Joanne will be joining the child Health Evaluation and Research Center at the University of Michigan for her postdoctoral fellowship in fall of 2023. We invite Joanne to please join us on the stage. To hand you this trophy, Fatah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Distinguished faculty, parents, guests, and fellow graduates, it is my great honor to be addressing the University of Iowa's incredible international student body. My name is Joanne Constantine. I come from a small country in the Middle East called Lebanon. Growing up in a developing country, I have always questioned social justice, suboptimal access to resources, and implications for children's health and long-term outcomes. However, one of the most important values that my parents instilled in me was that education is the strongest passport to uncovering one's journey in life. And it is the greatest tool that anybody can use to change the world and make it a better place for everyone. My fellow graduates, over the past few years at the University of Iowa, we learned a lot. It is safe to say that nobody went through education at the University of Iowa unchanged for the better. We experienced a global pandemic. Economic crises, natural disasters, and political instability around the world also had a great toll on us. Today, graduation brings many changes into our lives, but the University of Iowa provided guidance and direction for the road ahead. Let each one of us use our areas of study, research, and practice to improve health, respond to population needs, and achieve equity. Keep your footsteps firm, and as the Bible says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be strong and courageous, and do not be afraid. Let us look not only to our own interests, but also to the interests and the needs of others, which now, more than ever, transcend individual countries' responsibilities. Today is a good day to recall some of the experiences that we enjoyed. 
Joining the University of Iowa was my first time being completely on my own, as I am sure is the case for most of the international students. Um, but being part of a diverse community helped me develop a global network of lifelong friends. Let us appreciate everything we learned here about how to build relationships and celebrate each other's differences. Getting this international education is one of the most meaningful experiences that shaped me into the woman I am today, not only by supplying the academic knowledge, but also by instilling in me values that I will cherish beyond my doctoral training. The journey has not been an easy one, but it was worth it for all the gains and the new place I got to call home. I am grateful for every moment I shared with wonderful people at homecoming, friends giving parties, potluck events, and study sessions at the Pentacrest. Iowa will always be our sweet home, colorful in autumn, picturesque in winter, vibrant in spring, and bright during summertime. How precious is it to grow professionally while developing on the personal level in a beautiful, nurturing environment? Fellow graduates, during our time at the University of Iowa, we became equipped for our role as a global citizens. So be agents of change. We are growing into the person we were always intended to become. So let us lead by example in what we say and do. We all need wisdom and understanding to be successful. And this is exactly what the University of Iowa has provided us. Finally, I would like to thank my parents, Hanan and Rassan, who taught me that my limit is the sky, and if I want to change the world, my education is my strongest tool. I would also like to thank my sister, Rawan, for being the most wonderful role model and for inspiring me to be the best version of myself. And a huge thank you to the faculty and staff that guided us through every step of the way. Thank you, fellow graduates, for all the memories. We worked hard, and it is now time to celebrate our accomplishments. Thank you to everyone who took the time to be here today to celebrate with us. The best is yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2023, and always remember, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye. Thank you. Thanks, Joanne. Now, let me introduce the undergraduate student speaker, Xin Chen. Xin Chen is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Interdepartmental Studies on the Health Science and Global Health track. Throughout her four years as an undergraduate, Xin has served as a treasurer of the Taiwanese Student Association and the vice president of the Chicago Chinese Trader Association. In addition, she devoted her time to the Ronald McDonald House Charities as volunteer, helping families in need. She also gained valuable experience working as a camp instructor at the Hustling Hawkeye Sport Camp and completed a patient advocacy internship in healthcare quality improvement platform. After graduating, Sin will continue her journey in healthcare as an OPT treating children with autism at the Autism Therapy Center. So, Sin, you can come to the party. Dear grade Jades and all guests present, I hope you are all doing well today. And congratulations, grade Jades. Today is your day to reflect on all of our accomplishments. My name is Sing Chen. As a graduating student this year, I'm honored to speak at the 2023 International Student Graduation today. Being an international student, it was a big decision to leave our home country and come to the States to pursue our undergraduate degree. I also had so many questions and uncertainties, but from the moment I stepped onto the University of Iowa campus, I knew that I made the right decision. The office hour and writing center were key to my academic success. When I struggled with instructions for a cultural competence in healthcare paper, I used office hour to address my concerns. Attending my professor's office hour quickly helped me a lot. Each time as I leave, Xu Wuling says, I will see you next week. Additionally, while the writing center provides valuable feedback on my writing assignment, it also gave me the opportunity to make a new friends. As I, 
of fan book the Sentai slot and chat with the staff member there. Furthermore, my participation in the Virgin Domestic and Global Diversity Program offered by the international student and the scholar service not only provide me with valuable intercultural communication skills, but also found myself inspired to work on my class assignment. At Hustling Hot Guys Board Camp, I initially felt nervous about fitting in. But working with passionate campers and knowledgeable coworkers quickly relieved my fears. This life-changing experience connect me with people who share my values and give me the sense of belongingness. I will always be grateful for finding my place at the University of Iowa. Through the ISS event, I also met so many friends with global students, including my best friend at the UI. We share memorable experience like attending homecoming, football games, and the Iowa elementary celebration. In closing, Thank you for our families, parents, and professors, and also supporters who help us reach this point. Let's cherish our hot guys' memories. Remember the endless possibilities ahead and our power to make a positive impact on the world. Congratulations, class of 2023, and go Hawks! Thank you for listening. Thank you to both of our student speakers, Joanne and Sen, for sharing your journey, thoughts, and dreams with us. We are grateful for having you as a part of our international student community. Congratulations on your graduation. Now, we will introduce the award recipients. The International Student Graduation Awards are designed to recognize individuals who demonstrate positive impacts within the university community, Iowa City, and the broader community in the following areas, civic engagement and services, leadership, academic and scholarly achievements, and international community advocacy. Before we recognize all the winners, we would like to recognize all the students, staffs, and faculties who have been nominated for it. Please take a moment to recognize all the nominees on the slides. We would like to invite Amanda Thine, Dean of the Graduate College, and Shelley Campbell, Associate Dean of the Graduate College, to present the awards. First, we would like to recognize two graduating international students who have a record of volunteerism with a strong focus on social responsibility and global citizenship. Ewe Osa Wenase and Nafisa Kamal Ointi. Ewe. Sorry. Ewe Osa has, a, has done a great job in her role as programming assistant for international student support and engagement. Additionally, she's resourceful and knowledgeable academic and culturally, and is willing and eager to give back to the community. For example, she seeks ways to give back to the black community throughout the Black Law Student Association with the College of Law and states connected to the Nigerian community in Chicago. Please welcome Ewe Osama Wainase on stage to receive the award. Okay. Nafisa has been involved in the International Student Advisory Board, International Constituency Senator in the Undergraduate Student Government, the IPR Mentorship Program, and International Student Ambassador. She also served on the International Student Graduation Planning Committee last year. We would like to welcome Nafisa Kamalo and TN stage to receive this award. Next, we would like to recognize three students, Apurva Gokhre, Uksana Hirchak, and Sydney Nguyen, 
who have demonstrated strong leaderships in US student organization, scholarly or professional, and demonstrated leadership through their research, teaching, or campus employment. Apurva served as the College of Law's first ever global engagement student ambassador and has served as a student interviewer for the LLM and ad uh, advanced standing admissions committees, thus having a direct impact on the formation of the community. Her other re uh, leadership ro roles included serving as an international student rep uh, representative to the Iowa Student Bar Association, co-president of the South Asian Student Association, a member of College of Law Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and the DEI Chair for the Organization of Women Law Students and Staff. We would like to welcome Apurva Gokhre on the stage to receive this, uh, this award. Oksana created the Ukrainian Conver Conversation R, a language and cultural club that is open to the University of Iowa students as well as the general public. She also serves as a student employee, a language tutor, and a teaching assistant, as well as research assistant at various organizations on the campus. She's one of 20 Ukrainian students who received the Global De um, Democracy Ambassador Scholarship from the Institute of International Education. Please welcome Oksana on stage to receive this award. Sydney was Sydney was the president of the Organization for Student Active Support of International Students and a programming assistant in international student support and engagement. During the pandemic, she served in OSS leadership role. And while it wasn't easy, she was not afraid of learning, leaning on other executive board members to keep OSS in operation to provide space for members from all over the world to stay connected. Sydney also spearheaded many initiatives with the ISSE through great leadership and creativity. While Sydney is not able to present at the graduation today, we would like to still celebrate her achievements. Next, we would like to recognize two students, Shinji Katsumoto and Bavia Vats, for showing strong academic backgrounds with contributions to, scholarship, to scholarly work in international education, as well as those who identify as first in field. To date, Shinji has served as a lead author on four peer-reviewed publications, several of which are in leading journals in the higher education field with high impact factors. In addition to these publications, Shinji has been a contributing author on seven additional peer-reviewed manuscripts with scholars from across the US and the globe. We would like to welcome Shinji on stage to receive the award. Throughout Bavia College years, she has demonstrated a keen interest in research, working in three different labs. Her most prominent role has been with the Ankrum Lab, where she has a publication in the ES&T, journal for her work on the toxicity of environmental toxins on adipose tissue. Bavia will continue to explore her interests and make contributions to science through her admission as a PH student in biomedical engineering at the University of Michigan, where she will start this fall. We would like to welcome Bavia on stage to receive this award.
Next, we would like to recognize two students, Elmiria Jongjo and Chenye He, for their dedication for improving the University of Iowa campus climate for international students and developing, creating solutions for global problems, or even pursuing international research outside the University of Iowa. Elmira has shown unwavering dedication to improving the campus climate for international students and, in particular, supporting their basic needs. While serving as a vice president for UI, Iranian Students Organization, Elmira has actively in engaged in community building and its efforts. She has provided invaluable support and guidance to follow international students and help them to adjust to their lives in an environment while trying to navigate competing responsibilities towards her acad uh, academic and social lives. Please welcome Elmira on stage to receive this award. As an international student ambassador, Chinye provided valuable insight into the college life to international students around the globe through her various means, such as social media, social gatherings, international university fairs, and personal communication. She has contributed to the success of international student program at the University of Iowa by helping many international students during their transition to the college life in the United States. We would like to welcome Chen Yei He on stage to receive this award. Finally, as important as it is to recognize our graduate achievements, it is also important to recognize the faculty and staff who have provided tremendous support for our international students during their journey in Iowa. Professor Tan is an exceptional mentor who has a deep understanding of the importance of nurturing both the intellectual and personal development of her students. She consistently provides a supportive and stimulating environment that encourages students to approach her with any questions or concerns. What sets Professor Tan apart as a mentor is her unwavering commitment to challenging her students to think critically, question assumptions, and develop new ideas. She also provides her students with invaluable emotional support. Her passion for research and teaching is contagious, and she constantly goes above and beyond to ensure that her students are successful. Professor, Professor Ais Tan was nominated by Shen Yuang, who would like to welcome Professor Tan. We would like to welcome Professor Tan on stage to receive the award. In his 25 years at the UA Carver College of Medicine, Dr. Benson has dedicated himself to student success at the University of Iowa. Besides researching and teaching theoretical concepts and knowledge in cardiology and neuroscience, Dr. Benson has also developed basic knowledge in the field. Students in his lab are encouraged to attend various workshops and conferences to not only develop their knowledge and skills, but also network with others to find out about career opportunities in their field after graduation. He is an open-minded individual who lets students decide about their career goals and provides advice. Dr. Benson's respect and perception helped international students to adapt easily to the new culture in the United States. Dr. Benson was nominated by Tassin Kate. Please welcome Dr. Christopher Benson on stage to receive the Faculty Recognition Award. Thank you, Dean Thine and Associate Dean Camper for presenting these awards. Congratulations to all the award recipients. Now, let me introduce our keynote speaker, 
Dr. Aziz Batali. Dr. Aziz Batali is a professor in oral pathology, radiology, and medicine, and the professor in Iowa Institute for Oral Health in the UI College of Dentistry, and Gilbert Lilly Edward, professor of oral pathology, radiology, and medicine. Dr. Batali is a member of NIDCR, National Advisory Council Working Group for Dental, Oral, and Cranial Carniofacial Workforce Diversity, a mentor for the American Association for Dental, Oral, and Carniofacial Research Monitoring and Inclusive Network for Diverse Workforce for Future, a member of the Nominating Committee for the American Society of Human Genetics, Director of International Association for Dental Research Carniofacial Biology Group, a Fellow of the American Association for Advancement of Sciences, a Fellow for the Academy of Medicine Specialists of Nigeria, a Fellow of the International College of Dentists, among others. He is a recipient of 2022 University of Iowa International Student Graduation F Faculty Recognition Award, 2023 SCADA Faculty Advisor Award, and 2023 University of Iowa Leadership and Research Award. We welcome you on the podium. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and welcome to the rough road. <laughs> Professor Ross Ghanim, Associate Provost and Dean of International Program. The, um, uh, Professor Amanda Tyne, Dean of the Graduate College. Staff of the International Students and Scholars Services. Faculty, distinguished faculty, and outstanding graduating students. Thank you for inviting me to give this commencement speech. This is my first commencement speech, and I thought hard about what to say. While staring at my phone at a conference in Seattle on the 29th of April, I wrote this speech, and I poured my heart into it. I decided to talk about five major topics. I was an international student like you all from 2006 to 2010, at the University of Dundee in Scotland, United Kingdom. And I know what it means to leave your loved ones back home in your country's comfort zone and staring at uncertainty. I left my dental profession after practice as a, practicing as a dentist, uh, general dentist for five years. I left a widowed mother, my wife, daughter, and my siblings. I was scared but I was determined to succeed. To be modest, I think I am succeeding, and my biography gives a summary of my milestones. So I believe my experience gave me the opportunity to speak to you today. Let me touch on these five important topics that have guided me, and I believe will help you survive the rough road ahead, the society. The first one is gratitude. The journey to success is not a lonely one, and there is no solo traveler. Somehow, some time ago, somewhere, someone made a referral, gave you useful information, re reviewed your candidate's or personal statement, gave you a nudge, gave, uh, gave you a shoulder to cry on, gave you hope, access to a network, and many more. Someone also gave you reasons to doubt yourself and your abilities, gave you reasons to smile, showed you love, got you candies, shared stories with you, gave you access to their homes here in Iowa, organized Halloween parties, Thanksgiving potlucks, organized field trips, and many more. All these to make you move forward in life and to create wonderful memories. Today and tomorrow and many more days ahead is a great time to show gratitude. 
Can I ask all the graduating students here to look at their family members, friends, faculty, teachers, staff, those who supported you, doubted you, and believed in you. Say thank you to them. Most importantly, most importantly, thank God for taking you this far. There is a lot to be thankful for. Finally, I'd like you all to jointly say thank you. Thank you. So the second point um, topic is push that door. There will be many closed doors in real life, and knocking will not be enough. Push that door. It might be open, but your knocks might not be heard. By pushing slightly and putting your head in the room, you might be seen and given a chance. I came to Iowa as a visiting scholar in 2008 because I pushed the door. I was supposed to send samples as a grad student to Iowa from Dundee and to wait for the results back in Dundee for analysis. Instead, I asked my mentor, Professor Peter Morsey, to allow me to travel to Iowa to try my hands on the project. I spent 10 weeks in Iowa with Professor Jeff Murray from November 2008 until January 2009. And I was fortunate to discover the first genetic variant for non-syndromic cleft in the African population. That experience and opportunity earned me a postdoctoral fellowship in craniofacial genetics at the Murray Lab here at the University of Iowa. During my postdoctoral fellowship, I applied for my first NIH grant and was again fortunate to receive the K99 R00 Career Development Award for Dental Scientists. I joined faculty in 2013, and in the last 10 years, I have received several NIH grants, foundation grants, published about 100 articles in peer-reviewed journals, and presented about 200 abstracts at national and international conferences. I have also trained six PhD students during this time, and currently have three PhD students in my lab. In 2014, I applied for the Arad Amos Medical Faculty Development Award. I got information about this award a week before the deadline. It was almost impossible. But I decided to give it a try, and I was fortunate to receive the award. It turned out that I was one of two dentists to receive the award, which was originally for medical doctors in the history of the award in the USA. I got this far because I, was, I did not only knock, I pushed the door a little. So do not stop at knocking, push that door a little. Three, find a mentor. I stand here tall and confident because I stood on the shoulders of giants. I am a beneficiary of great mentorship. My late father was my first mentor who taught me kindness, honesty, and setting goals. I had great teachers in elementary and high school who were my mentors and role models. I was also fortunate to have a wonderful PhD mentor, Professor Peter Mosse, who gave me access to the world and led me to my postdoctoral mentor, Professor Jeff Murray, um, here at the University of Iowa. In life, you either choose your mentors or your mentors choose you, or both can happen to you. I chose additional mentors who were not part of the formal academic process. Dr. Adebo Waladeemo is a director at the National Human Genome Research Institute at the NIH. He's a leading human geneticist and statistical geneticist working on complex traits in the African continent. I met him at the American Society for Human Genetics meeting in Hawaii in 2009 and followed up with him since then as my mentor. His guidance is helping me to helping me make tremendous successes in my African orofacial cleft genomics and ethics work. Graduating students, I encourage you to continue your relationship with your current mentors while seeking additional mentors in your place of work and in the society. There are never enough mentors. You will come across challenges, um, both personal and work-related, and there will be a need for someone who is more experienced to help you think through. 
The success of the mentor-mentee relationship depends on the mentee. Mentors are very busy people, and they respond to you according to how you pull your weight. It is a pull and push relationship. I still meet with my mentors until this day, and I will continue to meet with them. Four, dare to succeed and be intentional. There will be many times when people will tell you it is not possible. They will make you feel you are not good enough and give you so many reasons why. At every one of these moments, I encourage you to pause and appraise yourself. You should be intentional about what you like to achieve and dare to succeed. It will not come easy, but making that effort and leaving your comfort zone might just be all you need. Remember the likes of Walt Disney, Thomas Edison, Abraham Lincoln, and many more. They dare to succeed and were intentional. You too can be more if you dare. I was intentional about building my lab and career. I tried a couple of times to recruit graduate students to join my lab by presenting at several recruiting events. Unfortunately, I was unsuccessful. The reasons for not joining my lab were best known to them, to the students at the time. I was not discouraged. I changed my strategy and I gave opportunities to international students like you to join my lab. Suddenly, after a few years and with the successes of my students and lab, I started getting requests to join my lab. These requests are very frequent till now from local and international students from around the world. I now find myself serving as a career mentor for many students globally. It has been a wonderful experience because I was intentional. Finally, fall forward and cross that road. Failure is inevitable and many times a learning moment. The initial feeling may be discouraging of failure, but a review of events and processes will enhance learning. Most of my grants took several attempts, but each failure was like a spring, and I kept going, and the results are self-evident. So I encourage you to cross the road to the other side. What you all need is on the other side of fear. Fear itself is a trigger. If properly harnessed, it can lead you to tremendous successes. So graduating students, you're going into a world where you need a toolkit that contains self-belief, recognition of failure, never give up attitude, self-recognition, mentoring, and most importantly, mental well-being. This is not a complete list, but a starting point. So I encourage you to go and challenge your yesterday. Set yourself up to beat your today. You can do it. Go Hawks, go Hawks. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. Thanks. Um, since today is a special occasion, we have invited Fasha Riasa to perform in Balinese dance. Fasha is a first year undergrad student studying data science, data science from Bali, Indonesia. She has been practicing Balinese dance since she was five years old and has mastered more than 20 kinds of Balinese dance. Now she's teaching Balinese dance in her country.
Thank you, Fasha, for your beautiful dance performance. Now, it is time to recognize our graduates. Participating students will receive graduation cards with which they can wear, which they can wear to the graduation commen uh, commencement. The three colors of the graduation card, white, light blue, and green, are intentionally selected. These colors signify the tabula rasa, of commencement and the limitless possibilities and hope that awaits. Additionally, light blue and white together symbolize peace and green color represents a planet Earth. We have prepared recognition graphics for each of our participating students today. As we display these graphics and read students' names, students will walk across the stage to receive their graduation cards and shake hands with the Dean Thine and Associate Dean Campo. All graduates, please listen to um, the full instructions before leaving the room. We ask that all our graduates exit through the door in the back, which is that one, and line out outside of the right door, according to the number you received. Graduates will enter one by one to walk across the stage. Receive your cord from Dean Thine and Associate Dean Campo. You may also take a quick picture if you like, then graduates will exit through the left side of the room. Please avoid exiting and walking in front for video purposes. Now may I invite all our graduates to exit through the doors on the left and line up outside of the right door according to the number you received. Please welcome our graduates as they walk towards the stage. Abdullah al Humad, graduating from Doctor of Pharmacy. Adelheid Bethany Sodebu, Doctor of Philosophy, Spanish and Portuguese. Adnan Ezeri, graduating in Bachelors of Science and Engineering. Aniket, Doctor of Philosophy. Anna Lydell. Anna Lydell. Master of Science, Finance, Master of Science, and Business Analytics. Apur Vu Gokure, Juris Doctor. Ashkin Abdullah, Doctor of Pharmacy. <laughs> Askar Hayatov, Master of Arts, Just Studies. Aziz Arisilkla, a late doctor of philosophy, epidemiology. Bavia Vats, 
Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Certificate in Technological Entrepreneurship, Certificate in Clinical and Translational Science. Chan Zhe Han, Master of Science in Finance and Masters of Science in Business Analytics. Cristina Rosa Salazar, Master of Business Administration Leadership Certificate. Dat Tain Hong, Doctor of Philosophy, Computer Science. Don Bo Wu, Juris Doctor. Almira Jiang Zhou, Doctor of Philosophy, Educational Policy, and Leadership Studies. Eweosa Winase, Juris Doctorate. Elul Durnay, Masters of Finance and Art, Literally Translation. Gurjot Kabatia, Master of Science, Dental Public Health. Sin Chen, Bachelors of Art, Interdepartmental Studies, Health Science and Global Health. Jasmine Suya, Master of Arts, Anthropology. <laughs> Joanne Constantine, Doctor of Philosophy, Health Services and Policy, Health Economics, Concentration. Kale Raje, Master of Fine Arts, Literally Translation. Lara Dopaz Ruibal, Master of Fine Arts, Spanish Creative Writing. Saitler, Bachelor of Arts, Journalism and Mass Communication, Sports Studies. Lorenzo Arturo Camacho Teles, Master of Fine Arts, Spanish and Creative Writing. Maria Jose Plata Flores, Master of Fine Arts, Spanish Creative Writing. Mario Goreno, Master of Science in Engineering and Biomedical Engineering. Nafisa Kamalointi, Bachelor of Science, Global Health Studies, Certificate in Entrepreneurial Management.
Nalini Singh, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Nayan O, Juris Doctor. Nika Darnoshe, Bachelor of Arts, English and Creative Writing with Publishing and French. Ningma, Bachelor of Arts, English Liter Literature in Japanese. Uksana Hirchak, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Pedro Silvestre Marra, Bachelor of Science, Biomedical Science, and minor in Microbiology. Prabil Samantha, Doctor of Philosophy and Mathematics. <laughs> Pratik Maitra, Master of Computer Science. Chinyei He, Bachelor of Art, Speech, and Hearing Science, and also Psychology. Ramya Ravi, Doctor of Pharmacy. Rixford Kenneth Eko, SLFE. Master of Computer Science. Sameul Islam, Master of Science, Urban and Regional Planning. Sonbe Alvin Jocelyn Somme. Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Computer Science Engineering. <laughs> Samrida De, Master of Science Statistics. Shinji Katsumoto, Doctor of Philosophy, Higher Education and Student Affairs. Subharesh Kumar Jha, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Sneha Bansali, Doctor of Philosophy, Teaching and Learning with Math Education. <laughs> Sumaye Fathi, Master of Science, Health and Human Physiology. Shriya Sarkar, Master of Science in Statistics. <laughs> C. 
Sydney Wynn, Bachelor of Arts, English and Creative Writing, Psychology minor, Communication Studies minor. Tahseen Katai, Doctor of Philosophy, Departments of Health and Human Physiology and Internal Medicine. Tim Shan, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Tino Tainda Tuganahra, Master of Public Health and Epidemiology. Wan Zhong, Master of Science, Business Analytics. Shinyu Jong, Master of Public Health and Epi Epidemiology. Jabsira Tekle, Bachelor of Science. Yun Fei Dong, Mas sorry, Bachelors of Science in Genetics. <laughs> Wang Shen, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Yu Tong Jen, Bachelor of Science, Statistics. Jen Wong, Doctor of Philosophy, Statistics. <laughs> Zhang Zhen. Bachelor of Business Administration and Finance. Shishan Yang, Doctor of Philosophy, Molecular Medicine. Ziying Dereng Chen, Bachelor of Arts, Journalism and Mass Communication with Communication Studies. Congratulations again to all our graduates. Thank you, Dean Thien and Associate Dean Campo for helping to recognize our graduates. Congratulations again, please be seated. We also want to take a moment to congratulate the graduating international students who are not able to join us today. Please join me in a round of applause for recognizing, recognizing their achievements. We would like to take a moment to thank those who made this graduation ceremony possible. International programs, international student support and engagement, 
Carver College of Medicine, College of Dentistry, College of Education, College of Engineering, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, College of Law, College of Nursing, College of Pharmacy, Division of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Graduate and Professional Students Government, Tippy College of Business, Business and University Libraries. Please give them a round of applause. Next, please join me in recognition individuals who served on the planning committee for the international student graduation, including, including Joe Adamu, Vedash Aydan, Fasha Riasa, Sujun Shannon, Jackie Chu, Bruce Ganim, Jody Graf, Sydney Johnson, Shu Wei, Lin Catherine Liu, and Simi Olatun Bosu. Please also join me in thanking our ASL interpreters, the international program staffs, the multicultural international student support and engagement staff, and graduate hotel staff for providing the support for this graduation. Last but not the least, Dean of International Programs, Russ Ganem, will deliver a closing remark for the graduation. Hello, my name is Russ Ganem, and I am the Associate Provost and Dean of International Programs at the University of Iowa. Please know that I am deeply sorry not to be able to attend today's graduation, but I am there in spirit with you. Graduation is my favorite time of the year. It is a time when we celebrate accomplishments and thank our family and friends for all the support they've given over the years. International students are among the bravest and boldest that I know. You have overcome innumerable cultural, linguistic, and academic barriers to succeed. You have set an example for courage and persistence that all students should follow. The University of Iowa is grateful to you for choosing our institution to pursue your dreams. We are equally proud of your achievements and are honored that we have contributed to your accomplishments in some way. International Programs deeply values its collaboration with the Office of the Dean of Students, and it is through this partnership that we are able to sponsor the annual International Student Affinity Graduation. We are also grateful to the organizing committee, the faculty speakers, the award winners, and to all those in attendance this afternoon. It is thanks to all of you that the University of Iowa maintains its role as a leader in global education. Congratulations, graduates, and please carry the Hawkeye Nation in your hearts as you embark on this next phase of your lives. Thank you. In closing, congratulations again to all our graduates. Graduates, please come up to the front for a group photo, then join your friends, family, and guests in this hallway to enjoy a reception. The international student graduation, it's now adjourned. <laughs>